Good day, Vacaville. I'm Bethany Crouch, and we are live this morning at Oz Sweet Alpacas in Vacaville, where, yes, the name says it all, Bruce doing a little feeding. It is a feeding frenzy with those mulberry branches. And um, my little girl, my namesake, the little Crea Bethany, is hanging out right here. She is uh, getting trained on the harness. And Miss Rachel here, who has been working with alpacas since she was 12 years old, uh, what is it about being around alpacas that you love? How has it inspired your future career? They're extremely sweet and adorable animals to start with, so it's very easy to fall in love with these little lovable guys. Uh, they're extremely interesting animals, being camelids, meaning that they're related to camels, llamas, and then their wild ancestors, vicuñas and guanaco. And I a, was a zoology major at Colorado State University. Quite I just clearly. Graduated. Quite clearly. I'm like, you're <laughs> dropping all kinds of knowledge. Quite clearly. Yeah, I just graduated uh, this past spring, and I'm in the process of applying to PhD graduate programs. So I guess you could say I was just always going to have animals as my career uh, in some capacity. No doubt about it. And, you know, it's interesting as we're watching Denea over here with her namesake, namesake little Denea, and Robert E. with Bruce uh, really working with the alpaca on the harness lead. So, Bruce Nelson, this is your spot. You guys have had alpacas for several years now. And what is the importance of getting the alpaca at the Crea as they're getting trained to get them out in the pen walking around on leads? Well, you want to be able to control them and take them uh, uh, you know, to any type of medications that you need to do or take them to a show, uh, get them to, to get into the trailer. But mainly you, you want them on a lead so that you can control them and walk with them and have them come beside you. So these are now just beginning their training, so they're not fully trained, as you can see. Right, we're still working on it. It's still a process. Yes, Robert, thank you so much for demonstrating. I do want to point out, swing on over here, uh, Danae is just trying to decide if she likes the mulberry branches yet. Uh, that's something that the moms and the grandmas definitely love. Scott, swing on over here. I want you to check out this table with so much fantastic alpaca gear. Charlene, come with me. Uh, you've got Integrity Alpaca Farm, which is one of the alpaca farms participating in this weekend's National Alpaca Farm Days, Saturday and Sunday. Look at all this. Okay, so here's the thing. I wish you guys could experience what it feels like to touch a little Crea, which is a baby alpaca. Just pure heaven, Charlene. Absolutely. The, the softest fleece that they have is when they're babies. Yeah, it certainly is true. And look at these great balls that she's created. These uh, they have some of the, the fleece inside them, and this is what birds like to use to make nests. Exactly. It's a wonderful fabric uh, for the birds to use as their nest because it's water resistant and it's very warm. And just think of all those little babies waking up oh. next to alpaca hair. I love it. So uh, lots of different alpaca-themed delights that you can purchase as well when you're out visiting this weekend and when we come back we're going to meet Vicky who is working very hard on spinning the fiber and another Bruce a second Bruce who was inspired to get alpacas last May after he saw a little segment on Good Day Sacramento so we'll talk to him too about what it's like he's a, a new alpaca rancher what's it what it's like to have the alpaca on his property back to you guys Look at you, you're starting a trend. Yeah. Everybody wants an alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bethany. Well, it's